In these examples, we're going to be finding the least common multiple of two whole numbers less than or equal to 12. So in this first example, we're going to be looking for the least common multiple of 6 and 10. So remember that multiples are just uh, like 6 and then add 6 to that and add 6 to that, right? So you could say 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on, right? And these are multiples of 6. You could also have multiples of 10. Those are pretty easy to do right and they keep going forever and the idea of least common multiple is you're looking for the smallest number that are multiples in each so 30 and 30 right so we can say the least common multiple of 6 and 10 is going to be 30 and this is one approach is to just write out a bunch of multiples and see which one is the first one that they share so this probably isn't the greatest way to do this in fact Another method we looked at for finding greatest common factor is also useful for finding least common multiple. So we put our two numbers here, and we start pulling out or dividing out common factors. So it looks like 6 and 10 share 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And it looks like 3 and 5 don't have any more common factors, so we're done. So previously we would have said, hey look, 2 is the greatest common factor, right? But now we can also use this method of finding the least common multiple. It's going to be this guy, all the factors you pulled out, plus the leftovers. So when we do this, we're going to take 2 times 3 times 5 for the lowest common multiple, and that's going to be 30. Notice we found it to be 30 before as well. So we can just use this little method, pull out all the factors, so all the factors are multiply together, and then multiply the leftovers as well together, and that'll give you that uh, LCM, the least common multiple. In the next example, we're going to find the least common multiple of 4 and 9. So again, you could write out a bunch of uh, multiples of each one of those and just see which one the smallest one is that they share, but I think probably it's a little better doing a little method like this. So what is a common factor between two of them, 4 and 9? Oh gosh, there are no common factors, right? So, my least common multiple then is just going to be 4 times 9. So it's going to be 36. So any time that you have two numbers that do not share any common factors, you can just multiply them together and that will be your least common multiple. In the next example, we're going to find the least common multiple of 10 and 12. So just like we've been doing, I'm going to set up 10 and 12 inside this little uh, division type situation. So any common factors of 10 and 12? Well, I know 2 will come out. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 5 and 6 oh, have no more common factors. So we're going to take the 2, which is the greatest common factor, and then 5 and 6, which were the leftovers. And we're going to say 2 times 5 times 6. 2 times 5 is 10, times 6 is 60. So we're going to say the least common multiple of 10 and 12 is 60. In this next example, we're going to find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. So again, I'll put them kind of in my little division-like situation. So 6 and 8, any common factors there? Well, 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and do 3 and 4 have any more common factors? Well, nope. So the least common multiple of these two will be 2 times the leftovers. So 2 times 3 times 4. And it looks like that's going to be 24. So for 6 and 8, the least common multiple is going to be 24. In this final example, we're going to find the LCM of 4 and 12. So 4 and 12 go right there. I'm going to pull out common factors. I know 2 will come out of there. So when we divide, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Oh, it looks like I have another 2 that can come out of there. So 1 and 3. And 1 and 3, I know since one of them is a 1, I can't go any further. So we're going to take all the factors that we took out, and then the leftovers, and the LCM is going to be all those multiplied together. So 2 times 2 times 1 times 3, because those are my leftovers. So it looks like my LCM will be 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. Well, let's take a moment and look at that real quick. 4 and 12. Well, notice that one of my numbers was actually the least common multiple. 
Well, it's because 4 is a factor of 12, so like 4, 8, 12, 16, when you start doing multiples. And we notice that 12 itself is one of the factors of 4. So since we have two numbers, one is a factor of the other, then the larger is just going to be our least common multiple.